All right, folks, welcome back. Habich here. So glad you dropped by, and uh, as if past indications are anything, you guys love the start of a new world, so we'll uh, we'll try to make this one a doozy for you, because, yep, we're, we're back in the situation again. Second time in two days. Sheesh. Um, and it's nice that uh, Minecraft is seeing the same little kitty stuff. Get your news, because... We need to be treated like children at this point until we can um, clean up our act a little bit. Start acting like we know what we're doing here. So, cartoonography, it was good to know you. You were fun, but you are now gone forever. Uh, we're going to start a new world. Hardcore, of course, and as always. And we will be playing... Um, I don't think I'll... Let me check the... Okay. Staying with the... Uh, C theme. Now, I was... I was thinking... You know, we kind of did uh, cartoon and cartography together... And I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe we'll do cornucopia and copacetic together and make cornucopacetic. But I think cornucopia gives us so much to go with. And, um, yeah. How, how do we feel about that? You guys don't really get a say, but... I I think... I think that gives us more of the feeling. It, it's bountiful, right? We're telling Minecraft exactly what we need here. Bountiful, plenty, and uh, everything's good, excellent, tip-top, you know, copacetic is kind of, you know, um, it kind of gets used for anybody that's not familiar with English. That's a, a more obscure word. Cornucopia is, too. Cornucopia is essentially a horn of plenty. A lot of times you'll see it around our Thanksgiving time, um, and it's kind of a, a centerpiece type decoration uh, that would go on a table or maybe off to a side or something like that, and it's usually a uh, um, I don't know, kind of a wooden or wicker or something horn um, that's curved and laid out on the side. And it's usually shown spilling over with fruits and uh, and various produce-y type stuff usually. Um, it gets associated a lot with the Ghost of Christmas past in, in Dickens. Um, you know, he's kind of, a, and some of the Greek, Greek mythology gods and stuff. So that's a cornucopia is... Uh, uh, horn of plenty, and then copacetic. Everything's in good order, excellent. Um, it's going well, tip top kind of um, a, an adjective to describe the state of things, either in your life or around or um, on a project, something like that. So a couple fun words to throw together. I think that'll be fun. Cornucopacetic. <laughs> and we'll see if it can live up to its name. You guys ready? Buckle up, here we go. And while it's building, I'm just going to check to see what our actual time is. All right, so we're about four minutes in. And let's see what Minecraft's got. I'm going to take a little sip of my drink here. Well, it must be building a good one. Jungle? Jungle? Just saying. Minecraft jungle. Jungle would be awesome. Let's start in the jungle. No desert. Da -da 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 -da. Dun -dun. In a tree. Oh man, more taiga. Spruce forest. Come on. All right. Uh, let's do this one kind of more right than I have been. I got to get back to back to the right way. Spawn, and as you guys 
No, I don't trust myself with notepads on the screen often, except if I've already lost the world and I'm just killing time. Um, but we are jotting down the coordinates of spawn, which are negative 60, negative 189. And that will uh, do as well. And this is going to be cornucopacetic. Love it. All right. That out of the way. This out of the way. Um, we are facing south into this tree. Well, this would be north. Everything looks like trees. Um, but predictably, let's punch this one. All right, well, at least we don't have to really go back and regroup what we need to accomplish here. We kind of know the drill at this point. Uh, get some wood and weapons. Um, try to find sheep. I see some stone outcroppings that way, which could get us uh, coal and stuff. That's a big drop-off. So that was a tree. I think here was our deal. Let's uh, go ahead and sacrifice one for the good start, we hope. All right, this is a little bit over the top. Seeing as we have the dirt there, or the stone there, let's go get, get our tools done. We'll just take this one down on the way. Massive tree. Alright, what are we looking at here? Kind of a rock outcrop. Crazy stuff. Just to be safe. Here. Hey, we got an advancement. We're in the Stone Age. And now we're getting an upgrade. Did they add those sound effects in for the little windows? That's weird. I don't think I'd have ever noticed those before. I don't know if they... It's, it's weird, and not that they're they're there. That's kind of cool, but... I never noticed before. All right. That gives us enough to... Deal here. We'll go ahead and get an extra one of these. And a sword. Okay, there's some coal too. I don't have torches yet. We can soon remedy that, though. Alright, coal is good to have. We got a mountain. Ooh, more coal.
is great. Kind of a bit trappy. Not gonna lie. Just on the as I explain that a little bit. Not not just that we're going down in a hole here, but um, it's boosting our level very quickly. Uh, getting all of this coal would be really nice if there was some iron attached to it anywhere. But we're also not quite at the place where we can just laugh it off. Oh yeah, we don't need that. What this will do once we go back up, we're not uh, worried about stopping for any more of it. Okay. All the coal we could need to start. So now let's try to make some tracks. Again, we are heading west. So the sun will go down to kind of... Show us the way. If we can, we'd like to get up high so we can see. Maybe. That looks like a lot of spruce. kind of where we came from, so we were kind of underneath that little floating island. It's a good landmark. Um, I think this was the way we could just see spruce out in the distance, right? So let's kind of wing out this way, Ooh, if we can. Oh, come on. I do all that, and then you make me fall at the bottom. Llamas. Goats. Sheep. Might need to uh, thin them a bit. Hey. Yeah. All right, we're not messing around. <laughs> I really took a half dozen pictures there. Uh, let's go get these sheep. We're not going to live on top of a mountain, so these won't be ones that we'll need for breeding. Alright, that's a bed when we need it. And now here we come into some Flowered forest and plains. Let's try to go down here so we don't have to swim a whole bunch. Horses. Cows. Hot cows. see more spruce in the distance. I love the taiga biome, but because there's... Man, there's a, oh, that's giant taiga, though. That is awesome. So, definitely like to... Oh, there's some swamp. 
Yeah, it's, it's a very shattered world. I'm noticing. What's up with the sticks, too? That's weird. Okay, we need to... Set at least to go to bed. That back up. Watch for the stars to get really clear. And then sleep. Alright, well, pretty good start when it comes to like the, the coal and all that. And I. Slimes near a giant tree taiga could be good. We got some caves and stuff here. Ooh. As long as I don't fall in. Um. Ooh, doggies! I don't have any bones for you yet, but I'm going to make use of your sheep slaughter here. Thank you. Um. I guess I should... Try to make certain that I'm not just there we go. Okay. So legitimate giant tree taiga. And let's just we'll work our way through here. Beautiful. ideal for a tree farming. So I'd, I'd love to be on an edge of this. I don't know how big it is. Obviously this world seems to have a great preference for... Ooh, that's kind of cool, the mossy down into the cave. Just peeking for iron. of wow yeah this is great great stuff if we can make it work river cutting through get the boat recipe for jumping in the water. That's great. Hey, maybe you don't want to do that that way. That's what I read that as. Um, this cave and everything <laughs> and it's this world is like oh yeah we got a we got a few mobs and things to put down below you sounds like some flowing water again i'm just kind of trying to hold to this westerly direction but see what, if anything, comes in on the edges of this? Some pigs. Nice little lake.
Oh, we got here. Come on. Yes. Oh, look at it. So gorgeous. Now, this bay in and of itself is fantastic. We could do all kinds of stuff right here. But I do just want to scout it a little bit. See if one side or the other has anything exceptional. Um, or if we happen to have neighbors right in the area. It's good to know about those in advance. Um, so we can kind of plan accordingly. And all the spruce wood wood we could ever really want. And this looks to be substantial ocean, not just kind of plunk down in the middle. Chickens. Chickens in the distance. Uh, island out there. Miss that little edge. Hmm. island with the other kinds of trees which at least for sapling sake may be nice this is we're pretty far from other stuff and I think we just saw um, birches previously oh no there was that swamp so it would have had some hmm a nice little lagoon Let's get another of these trees and switch into boat mode. Oh, I saw one of the torches. You see anything? Now we can cruise a little quicker. This other island's kind of nice. Get a shipwreck. Oh, 
another maybe island, maybe continent. We went into, we went into stealth rowing, we muffled our oars. Completely overshoot. Seemed as though this went on for quite a ways in this direction, but you don't want to... Oh, it looks so good. This is what, you know, I, I don't know, I think of like Lewis and Clark in their expedition, the uh, Voyage of Discovery or the Corps of Discovery, heading out to explore the North American continent and, you know, kind of see how far, what all le lay between the Atlantic and the Pacific. That northwest coast of the United States had to just be amazing. And, and again, those were some of the most settled and in their own way... Um, developed peoples of North America that they encountered, but even so, the uh, the forests and things, you know, they, they would have, I would imagine, hardly been able to dent the surface, and, you know, then fairly quickly, uh, those forests really got depopulated right along the coast, except where they were preserved. Um, but they must have just been spectacular pouring down to those wet coasts. So I know I'd like to settle... Oh, oh. Wait, is that the swamp again? Or is that... I thought I was thinking jungle for a second. But I think it's just swamp. Man. If it had been taiga, jungle... Super Taiga, whatever it is. Uh, ooh, let's not completely fill up on lily pads. All right. Well, I think we've uh, we kind of got our setup here. We haven't seen anything that shows us. Oh, this is the spot where, um, you know, a village is, or anything like that. So this is super advantageous. And because of that, I think we, uh, more doggies? Doggies are good omen. This is nice. Um, little island can go in either direction. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's dig in here. And there's coal. All the better. So yeah, no no beauty contest to get started in this one. Back to what works.
Hmm. Now, if. What's our deal? I. I was kind of thinking about the the whole like cliff house, more secure entry, but. I think we'll just go ground floor here. And I was thinking we might... <laughs> this is just pathetic, kind of. Alright. One shovel. Not real wild about this gravel, although it will help us a little bit. Uh, we can maybe build out. Ooh, and a little reward for all hard work. Is that like the, if you harvest this, you can, oh, we got two at least. You can make a shovel, which you would have appreciated while you were digging up all this stuff. Uh, still no real idea what we're working at here, but... Slight idea, maybe. Thanks to all our digging. That's that's gonna be rock. space here. Let's see what we can manage. This is why this is just so nice. We're going to have wood, no, no second thought, anything we want to do. Mushrooms. I see any red. 
Good poppies. Alright, well, that's good. Let's get back here. close. Let's do that. Back over here. Um, you in. Here. a single door this time.
that was annoying. Okay, so I did run one out to there. Which will make that go there and make this much more difficult. Then There we go. And then we can do how many of these slabs do we have left? And this bit is just absolutely driving me bonkers. still have not ever bothered to make any torches. Seems kind of important. Alright, now... A little bit of all that gets us... Uh, Pretty happy and confident. We got nothing there, I believe, that is spawnable. Uh, maybe that block? No, that's off. And then that's that's all off. So yeah, we're good. Um, Trying to decide. I think I kind of want a little. Well, maybe not. Let's. Well, hello. I don't know that we're really ready for you yet, sir, but welcome. Kind of more still in a. Chests in basic lighting mode. Here and here. It was three and three more in the back. <laughs> oh, he's up on top. Okay. All right. So if those were... The three.
see right here. Then we've got double one there. Um, Close again. Yeah, I don't know how much we need that sound. <laughs> likely to get mugged. Is that the that's the indicator we can go to sleep so thank him for that see one big challenge with what we've set up here. I think I can manage it, but uh, we'll see. Still got our other chest to set up. Let's pop them down. Go back to our traditional room layout. Oh man. You need to just take a breath. Let's make the most of it though. We are coming up about on the end of our episode here. Uh -huh. <sighs> uh -huh. One lead. Two leads. Excellent. Nothing, nothing too alluring there. A glowstone. We can't, can't really afford any of these anyway. So. No! I don't want to get spit on. I'm sorry, dudes. I was just trying to free you. I didn't want to make you mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm new at this whole axing thing. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. We got the leads. Fun trivia. First item binned or uh, stored. Planks. Coal. Make a furnace. Don't have any fuel for said furnace. Same kind of deal here. Start there, switch in the mutton. We're obviously getting a little hungry here. A little peckish. And in cornucopacetic, we can't be going hungry, right? Got a few 
few pieces of iron here. Sword and shield would be the obvious go-to's there. Drop off some of those. That. Those. Ow. That's cobble. That is... Variety. Oh, that's right, we did have so much gravel. And then spare wool. some of this. Double up all these as well. We'll need everything. Alright, sticks back. Check this again. It's gonna go in. That did. I don't know if there was any overlap to be had, but we didn't get it. Boat out in the water. Hopefully not to be lost. In fact... Huh. I thought our little island was a little smaller than it was. Go this way. I thought it was kind of straight out from us, but this will work. Oh, I just talked about how we were uh, close on time, and then here I go doing another adventure. Well, this is going to be kind of fast. We want oak wood for doors and ideally a couple of saplings too to get. Some oak going. Apples and all the rest would be nice too. a big old batch of trees to decay, leaf decay, more so leaves than trees, but you guys know you know what we're talking about here. Well, as we uh, wind down here and kind of cycle around grabbing up saplings and sticks and keeping our boat in sight so we don't lose our way home, um, I'll just uh, give you that 
uh, oft repeated but never never less sincere because of it thank you for all the kind uh visits and comments and words everything else we'll see if they stay that kind with the uh, with these two quick deaths but um it's good to have you guys coming around. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying this content. Continue to do so. I know sometimes having the, oh, there, that wasn't good, is actually more entertaining than just uh, some of the more productive stuff when we're building and um, grinding for materials and that kind of stuff, which happens later in the game. But, yeah, I, I'm delighted to be in the giant tree. Uh, spruce will have lots of that wood. And... Lots more to play. Let's go ahead and head back. We can always come back to find whatever else is decayed. Uh, we'll want to get some some light back out in this island. Just so as we're coming from a distance, it's not quite so hidden. snug as a bug um, now I think we're pretty vulnerable here um, in the sense of Enderman right but I think as we expand into a few more rooms we'll we'll be better off um, so I think I'll take this whole room to three. That'll feel nice and open and airy. Good when you're living underground. So what do you guys do with your wandering traders in your worlds? I gotta tell you, this particular one, uh, I'm kind of tempted to go slaughter. <laughs> he is so vocal. Ugh, that's tough. So I'm toying to with the idea of maybe doing some glass up above and kind of like in that, that other one but having it where light could spill into this area um, I think from here oh that was that was probably a mistake I think we'll go back a room and then out um at least to that side. I don't know if we can get it to the other as well. We can kind of do more exploring outdoors. See what we've got in the way of hillside and what would be threatening to pop out. Um, not that that's awful, but uh, at least for starting, I want to make at least two more rooms. This one is kind of bed and, and, you know, outside of this initial footprint. Speaking of which, we need a light there. And... We still need to figure out what we're doing here. I think we can probably abandon these torches. Maybe even expand that out to more window. 
uh, eventually. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's it. And now I've probably kicked us way over long as I've been scooting around here and talking. Let's do another shot from inside. It's something different. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get it put to bed here. Make sure uh, nothing bad happens outside of it. I mentioned it, so I won't I won't belabor the point now. But thank you guys all so much for coming. I can't wait to see you back here for the next one. Uh, appreciate you hanging out, and um, yeah, we'll have more up uh, shortly. See you then. Bye now.